Hi Pisces, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and so welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is truly appreciated. Pisces, let me know in the comment section how things are going with you. If all is well, give me a thumbs up emoji in the comment section. If you are feeling great and your energy level is high and you are just radiating love, Give me a sun emoji in the comment section or whatever emoji best is associated with how you're feeling. So let me know in the comment section. Give me an emoji, okay? Thank you. So Pisces, this is a general reading which comes to you from the Psychic Tarot, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. I will close your reading out with the Soul's Journey Lesson card. And also Pisces, I'm hearing for you Stay calm. Just stay calm. So let me know if that resonates with you in the comment section. Just type the word calm. All right. Thank you. God most high. Angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Pisces? That's for their well-being in the highest form of loving light. Oh, thank you. Are jumping out of the deck. Throat chakra. Let me know you need to speak your truth. So speak up. Speak your truth, Pisces, in your current situation. Let it be known what your excuse me perspective is, what your position is, how you're feeling. Speak up. Speak up for yourself. Speak up in the situation. Allow those who are involved to know what your thoughts are, what your feelings are, how this current situation is affecting you. If you don't speak up, they will never know. They will assume that what is happening is not phasing you at all is what I'm hearing. So speak your truth. Be open, be honest, of course, respectfully because you can get that point across. So I feel like there's been a disagreement with someone. Like there's been, I'm hearing petty arguments that's been happening. And so if that is the case, I feel like it's important for you to ground yourself, number one. And then give space for whomever is involved in this situation to calm themselves down and ground themselves as well. And then revisit the situation where, when everyone is able to come together and allow every, for everyone to be allowed to speak their truth. And in doing so, whether it's you or someone else who's actually requesting that everyone come back together to talk about the situation that you be open honest and speak your truth everyone's not going to agree with you everyone's not going to um, support what you have to say and that's okay what's important is that you speak your truth be honest and open and not keep it inside Conceal it inside is what I'm hearing. Conceal it inside. It's only going to build up and that can have a negative effect on your emotions, your mental state, as well as your physical body. And you want to maintain a healthy mind, body, and, and soul. And you have the number four, which is associated with stability. Um, also, that is so funny. The guidebook was wide open, right? And um, number four is also associated with structure, foundation, realization, stable situations, and planning. So if any of those keywords resonate with you, you can further search out meanings behind those words, what they support, like a word search. You know what I mean? And then that will take you deeper and that can also give you guidance on how to assess and or take action in the current situation. Like for example, 
when I say the word search. It's like taking the word structure, looking it up and see what the meaning of structure is and then what other words are associated with it and how that affects structure. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes that is very helpful. I've done it, oh my gosh, countless times. But anywho, moving on to the rest of your message, you have discontent and boredom. So you're discontent about something in your current situation. And I'm getting the sense that not only you are feeling like boredom in the way of like, I wish this was over. I just want to move on. You see how he's in deep thought contemplating or and or assessing. I just want to get beyond this. So if that is the case, I feel like you're being encouraged to take a proactive action, which will shift your energy and move you into a more positive state of mind. And then from that point, if you are bored and need to be challenged, look at what change that you can invoke and move forward. Joy, happiness, peace is available for you and it's all around you. See the rainbow? Do you not see that beautiful rainbow representing joy, peace, and happiness? Regardless of what's currently happening, it's still all around you. Why? Because God, creator, source, the universe, however you honor the higher power, the energy is always around you. And it's all about love. God, creator, source, universe is love. Literally. So love is always around you. Tap into that energy, which will help to shift your shift, shift your energy, pardon me, in a positive manner. You also have intuition. And I feel like you're being encouraged to trust your intuition. Spend some time in meditation and trust the, div the divine guidance that you receive. And in doing so, you're going to receive insight that's going to be most beneficial for you. So trust your intuition. And if you've been concealing your emotions, hiding your emotions, you see the mask there? As I stated, if you've been hiding your emotion, concealing your emotions, reveal your emotions. Be honest and open. Also, make time for meditation as well, which will prove to be helpful for you. doesn't mean that you need to spend two, three hours in meditation unless you feel like you're called to do so. But if not, just do what feels good to you, what feels right. But engage in meditation. You have the number two which is associated with options. Also, it is associated with balance, duality, partnership, choices, options, reflection, and diversity. And you have the key, you have the key to move from the current state that you're in into a state that's more beneficial for yourself and those who are involved. Trust your intuition that's going to give you insight that's going to be beneficial for you and will help you to take the appropriate step, action, and or action in your current situation. All right. As it relates to, there was an alarm that was just set. So that beep for me is confirmation. So, and I love it. Thank you, God Most High, for the confirmation. It is appreciated. And as it relates to, whoa, your lesson, Soul's Journey Lesson Cards, that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light. You have a few cards that jumped on the floor, so I'm going to get those. And I'm going to take your card on the top of the deck as well as the bottom of the deck. And bear with me as I get your cards off the floor. <laughs> okay. Whew. 
and there were three cards that jumped out of the deck on the floor for me three is associated with the holy trinity and i feel like you are being divinely guided and encouraged and in the guidebook it states that three is associated with the trinity you can't make this up pisces so it's associated with trinity harmony union expansion advancement enthusiasm and birth it can be a physical birth or it can be a literal birth of something all right that is quite awesome i love it when everything is just in complete alignment what about you what about you pisces okay so you have growth and your affirmation is i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness trusting your intuition is going to help you with that so that's absolutely awesome regret the affirmation is i know that i cannot change the past I know that I cannot change the past. Balance, bringing a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do, do so without judgment. I'm sorry, I bring, I forgot the I, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. What? You have gratitude. And guess what? The incense that is burning is gratitude. Yes, it is. And I'm going to read what it says on, on the incense package for you as well. So gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. This is so awesome. And I wanna to read to you what it says on the incense package for gratitude. Okay. So it says, okay, it's not focused. Mm, let me see. There it is. Oops, a little. So anyway, I'm just going to read it for you. It says, um, these incense sticks are a blend of mint extracts, extracts and basil. The infused scents will evoke a sense of thankfulness making you feel grateful for the positive aura and good vibes that surround you in every step of life. Let me read that to you again. These incense sticks are a blend of mint extracts and basil and infused scents will, I'm sorry, I'm excited. I gotta calm down, calm down, <sighs> okay. The infused sense will evoke a sense of thankfulness, making you feel grateful for the positive aura and good vibes that surround you in every step of life. That is so awesome. I'm just saying. And when I choose incense, I don't just, you know, take them out the box. I actually just choose, I just pull one out of the pack, right? And then I see which one I chose. So they're a little beat up, but that's because I use them all the, all the time. <laughs> so anyway, and yes, if you want to know about the incense or where I purchased them, let me know in the comments section. And I'll be glad to share that information with you. I'm so excited because it was, um, I just pulled it, like I said. And I was like, oh, when I pulled out the pack, I was like, oh, gratitude. Okay, let's do it. Because the one previous that I pulled and um, doing it during, excuse me, 
I have to calm down. The previous reading was love. So, yeah. Anywho. And your final card is envy. And it states, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So, this is your reading. Pisces and we're going to leave it right here. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate you. Also, if you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to consider subscribing because I would love to have you join us and you did not come to my channel by coincidence because nothing just happens. Also, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section to let me know how this message resonates with you. If you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. So just drop me some heart emojis down in the comment section. That would be appreciated because it will let me know that this message did touch your heart. And don't forget to share this message with someone who you believe would benefit from it. All right, Pisces. So thanks again for being here. I appreciate you. Take good care of yourself. Express gratitude. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.